Hey guys, welcome to my channel and today I will review the Lineage OS extended ROM for our Redmi Note 4. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Before starting this video, what is Lineage OS extended ROM by the way? So it has some extended features which I will talk about in this video. So let's get into that. You get all the features in the system. As you can see you get the hardware button customization over here. You also get the power button that is the advanced reboot and all those uh, customizations. Then you get the system profiles which is already present in the lineage OS. Then you get the status bar which is common but over here you get some additional features such as the uh, network traffic indicator. Then you get quick setting customization that is you can add uh, whatever number of rows and columns that you want then you get scroll small uh, tiles that is like this as you can see I can scroll then you can hide the titles as well so those are handy features you also get the gestures in gestures you get just jump to camera then you get other customization options in the display that is the color engine or I should say style then you get the ambient display also then there are some additional over here that is the pocket detection and high touch sensitivity and accidental wake up you also get privacy guard which is the lineage OS flagship level feature I don't know but I tend to use it a lot whenever I install new apps so that is all about the customizations and the features that you get in the lineage OS extended ROM now let's talk about the battery life and the performance so performance is great day-to-day -day usage no problems at all and as we are talking about the performance you also get a built-in app that is the performance or I should say it's just the uh, spectrum profiles but renamed to performance profiles and by default the ROM comes with the performance profile but I have selected balance because I want a balance between the both battery life and the performance and you can select from these four profiles if you are gaming then you can set it to gaming profile and when you are using your phone normally you can select the balance profile so that's a handy feature and talking about the gaming performance I literally don't did not found any issues while playing PUBG mobile on my device and also let me talk about the battery life so the battery life is good uh, during my usage I have got 7 hours and 17 minutes so that includes uh, one and a half hour of PUBG mobile then YouTube for 3 hours so yeah now let's talk about some other features that I found not to be working so the first feature is a video call although you can make calls via Volti but Volti logo is not visible over here so if I wanted to make a video call I can simply click on the video option but the problem is you can't make calls in any Oreo ROM until now only my UI ROM has that feature so for those who want video calling, native video calling by the way, go for my UI, don't come to custom ROM, I don't know why. But yeah, it's not yet been fixed yet, but Volti works, but you will not uh, see the Volti logo over here, so that's the thing. And yeah, overall the ROM is great, the sound quality is also really great, I've tested it using my headphones and everything seems to be fine. So yeah, this is all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If yes, then do drop a like. If you disliked it for anything, then you are free to dislike this video. Also subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification icon for upcoming videos. So yeah, once again, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.